Having a look now, uh, a closer look now at the nuclear reaction that takes place in the main sequence stars. Um, here, <coughs> as we saw before, we've got most of the stars. And the kind of reaction that gives out most of the energy or that occurs a lot of the time is the combination of the hydrogen uh, uh, nuclei with each other. So let's have a, a, a bit of a look at that. So here we've got the hydrogen nucleus and it can combine with another one. And as a result of that, we have the production of energy in the form of a what's called a neutrino. You know, a neutrino, I may have mentioned this before, is a particle which has almost no mass at all. Uh, it uh, travels at a very, very high speed, and they discovered it by a kind of process of subtraction. Now, the other particle that's coming out here at this stage is a positron. Now, <clears throat> I did mention this before, the positron, and you might have thought that I was making this up. No. Uh, a positron is a positively charged electron, a positively charged electron. So uh, now <clears throat> these uh, positrons are actually used in medicine here on Earth. So we can produce positrons and they use them in medicine to examine the inside of, uh, of people. They get the positrons to collide with electrons. And when they do, they produce gamma radiation. And that gamma radiation comes from the inside of the body. And uh, <clears throat> they are able to create images then of various organs that are in the body. But Anyway, I digress. Let's get back here to our uh, back into the stars and the sun. So when these two here combine, uh, these two hydrogens, what we end up with here is a, a, a nucleus with two nucleons. But you'll notice that the positive part of one of these, so to speak, has kind of gone off. And we've got one neutron now and a proton. So that is a isotope of hydrogen, and it is H2. It can combine then with another uh, hydrogen nuclei. Again, this time it could, tends to produce a gamma ray and can form then an atom here or a nucleus with two protons. That, of course, would be helium. So. This process can occur elsewhere and, well, probably adjacent to that. And so these two helium nuclei then can combine. And if they do, if they hit and collide with each other, they spray off two hydrogen nuclei and this form, this one here. And you can see what that one is. Two protons, two neutrons. It's helium. In the overall process, then, we've got these four hydrogens involved, along with these two here. And our products are those two hydrogens there plus the helium. So uh, the net overall reaction is this, our four hydrogens producing our helium and our two positrons, our two neutrinos, and two gamma rays. So that's the overall process that occurs. And this is quite a predominant uh, reaction that's occurring in the sun. There is another one, which we'll talk about in the next video.